Dreams are composed of two parts. You have the manifest content, the actual dream, like what are you physically seeing or experiencing in your dream. Now the latent content is the other portion of a dream where you wake up and you're like, what does that mean? I would have recurring dreams of like very specific things. Sometimes I'll have dreams where I'm just like talking and like my molars will start to just like come out. Weird dreams of just like in every possible way, teeth falling out of my mouth. It could mean different things. One common uh, representation of this dream is like uh, low self-esteem, things like that. But it could also mean your subconscious is trying to tell you you need to go to a dentist. The forefront of your mind doesn't pick it up. So like in your dream, your subconscious is trying to tell you this through these images. And then sometimes you know, like Sigmund Freud famously said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. It wasn't one single thing that kind of like, I want to do the dreaming project. You know, I experimented with infrared film. Every time I would look the images over, I was like, it looks like, like a dream in a sense. You know, it's like not quite there. You recognize what it is, but it's like distorted slightly. So it looks strange. It wasn't yeah. like infrared film dreaming project. It was like a combination of all these little things kind of coming together. I was like, why don't I do one project and I can incorporate this personal dreams that I'm having, the infrared photography, this like surrealist Jerry Olsman style type of printing. And I wanted to do these three separate things when I was like, they work really well together. And then when I actually took the time to piece the images together, that like seeing the results from it, that's when I was like, I can make this happen. Like, this is something I want to pursue even more. What I have to do is I'm sketching out ideas of a final print that I want, and then I'm going out and shooting the components to piece the print together. So this two months is literally spent collecting those components. It's gonna be a lot of landscapes with things overlaid into the landscape. At my core, I feel like I'm a landscape photographer, but I wanted to like move forward and like push my boundaries a little bit. I wanted to create some type of thought provoking work something a little more surrealist. The majority of my work is probably going to be in the Midwest, uh, also the West Coast. I want to hit the Pacific Northwest. Those are like, for me, big destinations, but who knows what I'm going to see along the way. During the trip, I'll collect these components for the project. And then after that, I'll still have a big step of actually putting the components together. That's another big part of the process. In my opinion, it's the most important part, the print. That's what makes this project what it is. You know, like you can have all of these different images, but the fact that they're coming together in a single print in the dark room, 
purely chemical based, not Photoshop, anything like that. Like that's what stands this project apart. When you're working on a project like this, not only do you have to think of like the creative aspect of like, oh, what pieces do I want to put together? You have to think technically, how am I going to be able to do it? And with using film, you kind of have to think ahead. So I got a grant through the Thomas George Artist Fund. Using the grant money, I got a van, I got like a bunch of different film, and it's basically gonna fund my trip, allowing me to have gas and food and stuff. Honestly, even without the money, having my work chosen, or like this project specifically chosen, makes me realize that this is kind of like the right step like i'm moving in the right direction you know i'm not sure like it's art you know you never know how it's going to be received or anything like that but seeing that this has potential uh feels really good and makes me even more motivated to work on it When I'm heading out, I'm planning on bringing a half frame. I have a little Olympus half frame. I plan on just like using for snapshots, small things that I'm doing. That's not like, I, this needs to be fine art. I'm bringing also a super eight camera. I'm going to just like play around with it and see what happens. Of course, you know, I'm going to have all these different cameras and stuff, but you know, I have like a little workspace. I'm going to be I'm going to have my laptop with me and continue to shoot videos. I want to try to document the whole trip. I'm going to be bringing a notebook, taking like physical notes. Basically what I plan on doing is taking all of these notes and the videos that I'm taking and kind of just putting it out there and trying to inspire other people. Maybe someone else can take something from it. I want other people to learn, you know, as I'm learning, like this is still kind of a learning experience for me in terms of living out of a van with like 10 cameras. <laughs> this project could mean a variety of things. It started off as an environmentalist project, like incorporating the landscape, showing that something is a little bit off and it's supposed to invoke thought and start a conversation about why do you think, you know, this mountain is inverted on top of itself or things like that. That's what it means to me. Of course, other people can take other things away from it. The images are representing the manifest content. And as a viewer, you're interpreting the latent content. You're using your own experiences in life, your own mentality, and completing the meaning behind the image. You're looking at this surrealist, dreamlike image, and you're left to interpret that. I'm still going out and shooting for it. Like, that's where I'm at right now. I'm in the process. I have the idea. So, during the trip, I'm going to be collecting components for it, two months. And then after that, I'm applying to different darkroom residencies. So then I'll have a full, you know, my own lab to work in, my own time and space to be able to like put the images together. So that's hopefully what will come next.